Uh, it has been a while, and I think you might have noticed that my, I am in the car. And I'm in the car because I am traveling. For that, I was looking for places that I could possibly visit. And you know, it is Korea, so there are plenty of places to go to. But one particular place that caught my interest, and that is Gangneung. I'm pretty sure I've been to when I was a child probably, but I can never remember. So it is going to be quite new to me as well. Yes, I do not know what am I going to see in Gangneung, but what I can tell you is that it is going to be very different from what I usually see or what you usually see in Seoul. Well, by the way, I'm actually already outside of Seoul. Um, okay, let's continue. Let's go. Um, okay, I have arrived to Gangneung and the first thing I will do is to go and eat because I am hungry and it is well past 2.30. It's well past my lunch time. So I will go and eat. Uh, the food I'm going to have is Gangneung Changpong Sungdugu. It's kind of tofu, uh, but it's going to be very spicy and it is known to be one of the specialties in Gangneung. So let's go and try it. Champong Sunjubu was a lot better than I expected and a lot spicier than I expected. But it was very tasty, so if you do go there, I recommend you to try them. And on top of that, uh, if you find it. My navigation, oh, thank you. Um, on top of that, if you find it too spicy, you can also have a gelato. There is a gelato shop right next to it. 
they use the all organic products. So uh, I think you're going to enjoy that as well. Right, um, where I am heading right now is um, is a cafe called Terra Rosa. Um, it is really popular in Korea and it's so popular that they have a shops in, in Seoul too. And today I'm going to go to the factory they have. It is about 40 minutes out. Uh, oh, I have to go. Talk to you soon.
trip to Terra Rosa was actually better than I expected. One, one thing that I did not get to do was to go to the museum there, where I suppose they bake coffee beans. I wanted to, but it was after closing time. And it was really late, so I wanted to have dinner, which were also a big problem because the place I wanted to go to was also closed. Uh, therefore, I came to the Gangnam city center and I will go to a really cool cafe slash restaurant. I was told a lot of good things about this particular place, so I will go and see. The food, the dinner, was amazing. Although, if you're not really good with spicy food, it might be a tiny bit too much. But it was very creative, and yes, I really liked it. Anyhow, um, I am done for today because I think I'm going to wake up a tiny bit early tomorrow <laughs> to see what I actually came here to see. Which means that now it is almost 10, I will have to go back to the accommodation and sleep for today. So, see you tomorrow. It is really dark, I'm sorry. Hello and good morning. Uh, it is 15 past the 6 now. And yes, it is really early and it is really dark outside. The reason I woke up so early is you know, I have uh, things to do and not enough time to do so. Apparently, later today, it is going to snow a lot here. And if it does so, I am going to be trapped here. And I do not want that. I have to go back to Seoul. So I'm going to move a tiny bit faster than usual. Uh, and I say usual because <laughs> it is usually my sleeping time. I woke up a tiny bit early. I prepared my cup of coffee. It smells really nice. And I get myself ready, and now I'm going to go after I finish this cup of coffee. It's too hot. Hello, oh, you can hear me. As you can hear, I am at the seaside. The reason I came to Gangnam too. Um, also, as you can see, I'm wearing a raincoat because it started to rain, which will turn later into snow. But I guess there is not what you want to see. You want to see this. Um, I came here very early in the morning because I wanted to see the sunrise and I completely forgot the fact that you cannot see the sunrise when there's storm. So instead of sunrise, I am seeing a massive wave. Oh god, I love them though. I'm not so sure if you can recognize 
likes the place I am in. Um, look if I can do this. I have no idea why. I just wanted to come here, and I did. Luckily, because of the weather, there are not many people. That's number one. But unluckily, due to the weather, there are not a great scene here. Uh, I will show you before, okay? Um, the wave got stronger, therefore everywhere got wet. My trouser got wet, my shoes are wet. Cool. Um, I came to the Jumunjin beach. As you can see, it's really windy here. And in no condition to swim. Therefore, you cannot see many people. Actually, I see no people here. It is even rainy as well. It was really rainy and it was so windy. I mean, it was so windy that my mask were blown away and I had to quickly go and get a new mask. Um, anyhow, uh, it is just before 10 a.m. and now I am going to go and have breakfast. And after, I will be off to Seoul again before it gets to be too snowy. I already see some snowflakes, um, but it is not really snowy at the moment, just rainy. Um, the food I had is called the Chang Kai It's kind of a Kai with the gochujang in it. At first, the taste was kind of weird. Did not like it. But what surprised me the most was that after I finished it, to finish the food, there's some after feeling that I cannot really describe it. It was clean in terms of taste. Uh, 
Well, it's really hard to describe it. What I can tell you is you have to try it. Like, the first feeling is different from how you finish with it. Okay? Yeah, I mean, that is the best way I can describe it. I really am sorry. So, what I can tell you, if you come to Gangmeng, do try that food. And I guess with that, I am done with this short trip. Although, yes, I have to go back. And then it's going to take me another three, four hours if the trip is okay. Which means I should hurry. And, you know, it's snowing already. So, wishing me luck. Uh, yes, I came back to Seoul and yes, even though it's the same day, the weather is widely different. It is a lot sunnier here. It was an amazing trip. I had a really amazing trip. It was, it was wow. The nature was amazing. The places I've been to was wow. And the food I had, whew. What I want to say is that if you do ever have a chance to go to Gangneung, you should definitely take it. And I am sure that you're going to enjoy more than I did because, you know, if the weather is nicer, you could definitely swim. You can enjoy food like sashimi, you know, all those kind of things. Well, I guess that concludes the trip. I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah, see you next time.